Good morning and coffee cheers, everybody. You guys, out of my mind, and I'll be back in five minutes. That's how I feel this morning. Oh, it sums up the day. Do you guys pick your coffee cups according to how you feel in the morning? Or is it just me? Um, I, <laughs> I, um, I love having a lot of options in my coffee mug stash. And you guys, I know, this is a crazy conversation to start off the Saturday, but it's a perfect thing to start with because, you know, it is coffee and cards today, you guys. And a welcome, welcome. I am Jennifer, the, for those that don't know. I'm not only here to inspire you today. I'm kind of excited about today. Um, but I'm also here to give you permission to try something new. Because why the heck not? Why wouldn't you? I know you can do it. I know that you can. So good morning. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm sorry. I was outside before I came in. My hair flopped. It was all kind of cute. It was all kind of a little bit curly. The struggle is real for me today. I am literally out of my mind today, you guys. All right. Anyways, let's focus. We need to focus. I've already had a full cup of coffee, so that's not it. Um, a lot today. I need to be quick because it's we're celebrating Dad's 80th birthday today, you guys. 8-0. 8-0. Do you believe it? I don't believe it. It's not until next Friday, but we always do parties early because school in Illinois starts Monday. So it was easier to do it this weekend than next weekend, which works out better for me. So it was good. Anyways, did you see the mystery card night card? So we did two things this time. We did this awesome mystery card, fun fold, because, you know, we always do a fun fold for mystery card. Always. At least one. Um, and typically, we usually do cards. No, no. We did a project for the other one. And you're going to have to go and watch the video. I promise it's worth it. I don't think I need that stuff. Okay, what else? I have um, Ding Dong Ditch to show you. I promised you today that I would show you. I'm going to show you the one card you saw on Wednesday. Okay, and this will be different for every section that you get to because not everybody is getting this piece. And I will explain when I do the video. All right, so that's one that you've seen, but I wanna show you what we're gonna be using today. Good morning, Julie. Good morning. Um, I wanna show you what we're gonna be using today. I have my Berry Burst ink. I have my layering leaves, you guys. I love this stamp set. I used it last night. But I also, I've used it for the fun fold class that I did. Um, this is going to be something that I will probably even bring in for the one sheet wonder class. Today is the last day to sign up for that. So if you're interested in that, let me know. Um, and you guys, you have four different templates to pick from. I like options. I know I make more work for myself doing that, but I love options. Love options, okay? So you have four different One Sheet Wonder layouts to choose from. So there's got to be, out of those four, there has to be one that you're excited about. We're using the Stargazer DSP or the Let's Go Fishing DSP. So if you have any questions about that, reach out, let me know. And I can tell you that we will probably be using this for a couple of the cards, depending on what, um, depending on what you pick. And I did bring in this one, the Good Feelings. Actually, they were left here from last night. I used all this last night for Mystery Card Night. I didn't use that. But I have ribbon here, which I don't think we're going to need. I have the Deckled Circles. All those things. So here would be another card idea for the um, August Ding Dong Ditch. 
And then here is the third card. Isn't that pretty? You guys will have to join me next Saturday to see the last one, which, by the way, is the fun fold. Isn't that pretty? Do you see all those layers on that daisy? Woo! That's a lot of cutting. A lot of cutting. All right, with that, I yeah, I see the hearts, you guys. Don't you love it? You're going to need, for today, you're going to need one 12 by 12 piece of paper. Just one. And you guys, you're going to need some scrap paper, and that's it. Hey, Mary. Um, That's all that you're going to need today. And you guys are going to love this. This is so easy. This is amazing for um, lunch boxes. This could be for little thank yous for anybody. You guys remember those little three by three love notes that we made last week? Did you miss those? Oh, they were so cute. That was over on YouTube on Tuesday. Um, wasn't it? I think it was. Ooh, you guys, it's pouring outside all of a sudden. I heard um, thunder already. So, anyways, so we need one piece of 12 by 12. I like to pick a piece that I like the both sides because, um, because, because you're going to be able to see both sides. Kind of like the One Sheet Wonder class. You need to be able to use both sides. All right, so we're going to cut this in half, so six by six. And I just, I like to double check because sometimes, sometimes there's a little smidgen more on there, you guys. I always like to check. And with that, we're going to do another cut in half. This is now going to be six by six. So we're going to get four. Oh, see? See why I check it? This one's a little bit tall. Whoa. Just a sliver. Look at that. It's hard to make a square if it's not even. Just that little bit extra. And it's usually one way or the other that it's a little bit extra, I find. So we're going to do two pieces this way and we'll do two pieces this way and you guys are gonna oh hey Deb you guys I love 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 what we're gonna do today I use this all the time and I mean like I use this all the time I keep these in my purse these are great little thank yous these are great I have um a friend of mine that makes these and puts them in her husband's lunchbox I have another friend that includes those with her. She's, um, what does she sell? She sells Scentsy, and she puts these in with her um, larger orders as a thank you. These have so many options. I love them. And they can be anything you want. So we're going to take these two, and I'm going to take one. And you guys, I'm going to show you how easy this is. Quick, quick lickety split so you're going to fold it in half and you're going to want your bone folder on this one do 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 bone folder and then i'm going to fold this back and i'm going to pinch right there just a pinch to mark where the center is and then i'm going to bring my sides up you guys, I've done this in really big sizes. You could do a whole 12 by 12 if you wanted. Um, and it holds a lot of stuff. So all I did, let me show you quick. All I did was fold over my two sides. That's it. And tried my best to line them up. You're not going to see it anyways. And then we're going to take this piece. And look at that. Dang. My new flower garden's getting a good drink. Just like that. And guess what? You guys, there's no adhesive needed for that. 
in that little pouch. And you can fit a lot in that pouch, you guys. I have put twine in this pouch. I, this, oh, see, Deb, I knew it wasn't just me. So I'm going to go quick on these other ones. I'm going to flip these around a little bit. Yeah, I love these. These are, these are so easy. Great way to, you guys. Okay. Let's be serious. Let's be serious here for just one minute. Okay. You have DSP. I know you do. All that beautiful patterned paper. Pull the sheets out that you don't like. You don't want to hoard those anyways, right? Pull the sheets out you don't like. Cut them into six by sixes and make these and spread some smiles, you guys. This is, hey Sherry, this is an easy way. Yes, exactly. Julie says she she made these, added treats in them, and gave them to the teachers. That's exactly right. That is exactly right. You guys, these bring smiles to people's faces. I have given treats to pe to waitresses, the post office people. I mean, I like I'm serious, you guys. I carry these around in my purse. I even had someone spread smiles. Exactly. Um, I even had someone look me up and send me an email and thank me that because I made her day. Now, isn't that what it's all about? We are here as card makers, old school, right? Because we actually mail cards and don't send a text because who saves the text? Nobody does, okay? It doesn't end up on the fridge. Doesn't end up on the mantle, but this is so easy, so, so easy, and to, if you can bring a smile to someone's face this simple, why wouldn't you do it? Why wouldn't you? This is easy enough. You guys, it could be, like I said, it can be any paper. Oh, thanks, Deb. I'm, it was an amazing experience, I got to tell you. It was amazing. I couldn't believe it. You never know. This is the true factor of you never know what someone else is going through. And something so simple as one piece of candy and a six-by-six six piece of paper. Hey, Paula. I mean, oh my gosh, you guys. It doesn't take a bunch. It doesn't take a bunch of things. Doesn't take a ton of money. Like I said, pull the pieces out that you don't like. Save the good ones. Use up the ones you don't like. Uh, I like this one. I wanted good options as far as different colors. I love this paper, you guys. Love it. I'll do this one this way. Flip them around a little bit. And it is really this simple. You guys, I've done four here. And I can sit and watch television and make these, you guys. Sit and watch and watch television and make these. It is really that easy. And the part that I love, it doesn't use... A bunch of adhesive or glue, no uh, dimensionals. It doesn't have to be super fancy either. So we're going to do a couple of simple ones and we're going to do a couple of fancier ones. I have some, actually I have a bunch of white paper. And I want to do, I think, I want to do a couple of this thank you and I want to do a couple of the other one. So we'll do that and, and this. This one we can cut down and probably get two out of, which would be great. Like I said, it doesn't have to be super fancy. This paper is this paper. The Masterfully Made 
And the colors in here are Azure Afternoon, Berry Burst, Crushed Curry, Fresh Freesia, Lemon Lime Twist, <sighs> Lemon Lolly, Lost Lagoon, Melon Mambo, Night of Navy, Pretty Peacock, Pumpkin Pie, and Sweet Sorbet. Yes, exactly. Julie says she uses her old 6x6. Six six. Definitely. Oh, you guys. Here's the thing. Do you guys notice that, and, and this is, you can plan for this, okay? Do you guys notice that when you go to the store after Thanksgiving, the, the, the employees are kind of crabby? From lack of appreciation, right? Um, make up some Christmas ones and just a hello stamp on it or a smile stamp on it and give these randomly to retail employees. You want to see somebody change their tune like that? That's the way to do it. And you can use, like I said, pick out the pieces that you don't like and use those. And I'm not saying that most of the papers I don't love, but there's always one or two sheets in there, right, guys? Let's be honest. There's one or two sheets that are not my favorite, but why not use them? Spread a smile. Make them up for your retail folks. For when you're doing your grocery shopping or whatever. these This is so universal. Oh, so universal. All right, so I'm going to do two of these big thank yous. Do, 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 do. And I'm going to do two of the other thank yous. Bum, bum, bum that one and you can punch these out you can die cut these out you can do anything you want yeah great way to reduce your, some of your paper that is exactly right Julie exactly okay so we've got those two and then I'm going to take this other thank you and you guys don't have to say don't have to do thank you actually actually Seeing as we don't have to do thank yous, I'll do two thank yous and we'll do two sending hugs. Because I never say that. That's more of what, that's more of my speak. Right? Sending hugs. Whoops. Will fit that way. Oh, look at that. Nope, not quite. Almost. That's okay. So we're going to do, I'm putting them down towards the bottom. And we'll cut that top section off. And look, you guys, I'm pressing too hard. Getting a little excited. Or banking. And always have extras. Yep. Oh, yes. Exactly. Paula had a Paula had somebody where they were fighting over the I think it was Paula. They were fighting over uh, the candy treat, you guys. So it is definitely a good idea to have extras. <laughs> <coughs> true story. Exactly. True, true story. I hear you, Henry. I do, I hear you. What? What bud? Oh my gosh, you guys, it just poured and now the sun's coming out. Like seriously. I hear you. What? Mom doesn't have ink open. Come here. Say hi to everybody. Come here. There you go. He just wanted to pop in and say hi, you guys. He's going to help. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. So 
so many stories about these little treats that it's funny. Say hi to the girls, Henry. All right, are you going to lay right there? Is that what you're going to do? Okay. If you lay down, then we're fine. All right. Thank you. Apparently, Henry's going to craft with us today, you guys. Mm. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, you want to stay in here with the girls? Okay. All right. Remember I said two were going to be super easy? Guess what? It is really this easy. We're going to slap a dimensional on here. We're going to put that on there. I do prefer to put flat treats in here, you guys. Um, the flat ones work better than the Reese's. And that's okay. Da, 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 da. You're such a good boy, Henry. You're such a good boy. Except for when you get on my counter. Yeah. A lot of times, you guys, this is also when I bring in my bits and pieces container. What do I mean? I mean that I take, like, I know I have butterflies in here. I have a bunch of little butterflies in here. So I'm going to take those out, a couple of them. And we'll stick those on there. And what else do we got in here? Do, 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 do. Oh, oh, who is that? Daddy on the tractor? Daddy's on the tractor. All right. Pull some of these pieces out. This doesn't have to be perfect. There we go. Just good enough for government work. All right, there we go. A little bit of glue, put these two together. Find those little pieces, you guys. There is no reason not to. Doesn't have to be perfect. Those two butterflies don't go together, but guess what? They go together. You know what I mean? So we've got that. We're going to put one on here. We've got Henry all excited. He was laying up here. Look at him, Joe. He was laying on the table, crafting with us. Until you came up here with the tractor. <laughs> and then he got all excited. Don't blame him. Alright, so then... Go get Daddy. Go get him. I'm going to put the glue dot right there. And we're going to put this butterfly right here. And there's that one. Lickety split, that's done. Done, done, done. Now we have two more here, and I have, uh-oh, what happened to that, oh, here it is. I have that butterfly and a bunch of garbage, and I brought in some Granny Apple Green. And I got my punch. And we'll cut out a couple of these. Put 
Dun, 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 dun. Mini dimensionals. All right. So for those of you that have never made them before, which apparently a lot of you have, which is good. Bye, Henry. That makes me happy that you have. Easy, easy way to bring smiles. Easy, easy way. Put that one up there. We need one more of those. little good bit of glue put that up there you can embellish you cannot embellish it's entirely up to you there last one here we're gonna go way 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 crazy on this on the last one you guys There we go. So there's that one ready to go. We've got our different stages here. Now here's the last one. And like I said, I had white paper. We're going to do a little bit of stamping. And I think I'm going to stamp that. There's another piece. I think we're going to go berry burst on this, you guys. Could be kind of fall leaf ish. Ooh, I have a question for you. I have a question. Who has not seen the template for this punch that I've used? I know Paula's seen it. I think Sherry's seen it. But tell me, have you seen the template that I've that I've used so that I can do one stamp? Whoops, wrong way. Do, do, do. One stamp and get both of my things lined up. Look at me, I'm too long. Too long. There we go. Apparently you guys have seen that. Which is good. There's that. Thinking. A little bit of this. Do one more of these we can use up this last little bit of paper and then I think we're going to do one more green and we're going to stamp so I'm going to clean this one off so that I can use my template in case Somebody out there has not seen the template, just in case. And we're going to line up our stamps here. We got one, and then this one. Do, 
do, do, do, do, do. Just like that, all in the grooves where it needs to go. Pick it up with our block, and then that's ready to use. One ink color, you guys. One ink color. To me, this is kind of fallish. And we'll make it even more fallish when we use our Winka Stella to pull in the color here. Kind of looks like the leaves are starting to turn. Not ready for that yet. So don't jump me for that, Paula. I'm not ready for that yet. I still have a lot to do. There we go. A little Winka Stella. And should be good. I'll punch this out. Because we used our template, I usually try to make sure that my stuff's lined up on the bigger one. And I always double check to make sure that they're both lined up. See how they're both lined up. And there's that. And then we've got our sending hugs here, and we need a dimensional for that. And then we're just going to build up There are so many fun stories, you guys, about these little treats. And I, I love, I love making things easy. I love using what we have. And not only that, but I also, it makes me happy helping someone else smile. Right? Doesn't that make us all happy? All right. So we've got all that and that. We'll tuck this one down in here. Just like that. And then... That one right there. There we go. All right. So there's that one. Easy, you guys. Look at that. 33 minutes and we've got three treat or four treat holders. That's how simple and easy it is. All right. Does anybody have any questions? Hey, Kathy. So here's what we made today. Our little lunchbox treats. Um, any other kind of treat. So tell me which one is your favorite. Oh, that's all good. I like you shouting hello, Kathy. It's all good. So there's the first one. And each one is going to get stepped up just a little bit. I did use some things from the bits and pieces container. Great way to use those. That one's number two. Which one's your favorite? Number three or number four? And like I said, you guys can make these any way you want. Like I use some bits and pieces. You don't have to. Um, it's super easy. You guys, not a lot of glue, not a lot of other adhesives. It's really easy, easy. All right, and that's what I have for you today. You guys, we got four trade holders out of one piece of 12 by 12 paper. Um, and it really is a great way to use up your designer series paper. That's why I always have some. 
Because you guys, I have a ton of DSP. Oh, Julie likes them all. Thank you, Julie. But four is your favorite. Yeah, because we always like to go a little over the top, don't we, Julie? <laughs> Thank you, Sherry. So, all right, you guys. I have a party to get to. I have a party to get to. Um, and I hope that you guys have an amazing crafter day. Did I show you? I did show you three cards, the so three ding dong ditch cards. And you guys don't forget about the one sheet wonder sign up. So you've got ding dong ditch, one sheet wonder sign up. Oh my gosh. And you guys, I didn't even talk about paper share. Oh my gosh. So paper share, all the things you want to learn the bows that I make, which ones? Kathy, the two different ribbon bows, I can, I can show you those. I think that might be a fun video to do. Just do different bows. I think that might be kind of fun. Maybe we can do that next week. Hmm. That's a possibility. Um, do you follow me over on YouTube, Kathy? I'm sure that you do. The twine and the ribbon ones. Easy peasy. We will go. We'll make that a video next week, I think. Because you guys, I've got. Um, I've got to. I leave. Not next week, but the week after. And I will be gone for a whole entire week. So I'm trying to get things all organized for you guys. So that you guys have some videos. And so that you guys have. Um all the things that you need before I leave. <laughs> and it's a lot of things. You guys don't realize how much you do until you try to do twice as much so that you can get everything done. But paper share, one sheet wonder class, and, um, and the ding dong ditch, those are all things that you need to be thinking about. If you have any questions, you can uh, comment here. Or you can um, email me, text me, private message me, however you want to do it. Um, but I hope that you have an amazing day getting crafty today, you guys. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye, guys.